Hello everyone, so this is a review on my Renogy DC to DC charger. Uh, I've got the 40 amp model and I've been using it for about a month now. I originally had the 20 amp model but uh, after a month of using it, it broke down on me. So I sent that in for a refund. Uh, but their customer service was great, I didn't have any problems with that. Uh, the only thing with the 20 amp model, I was a bit underwhelmed with the performance. It just required too much driving around to keep my battery topped up. Uh, I use anywhere from 15 to 30 amp hour in a day depending on what I'm doing. But uh, right now my solar isn't providing anything at all. I don't think I'm going to get any use out of that until at least March comes around. So I'm totally dependent on the DC to DC charger. Um, right now my battery is almost fully topped up. I've only used about 3 amp hour off it. Uh, so I decided I should come up with some kind of creative way to drain my battery. So I went over to the thrift store and I got this slow cooker for 8 bucks. Uh, it runs on 150 watts. So I think I should be able to use it for about 6 hours on high. Uh, and that'll use up about 80 amp hour. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make up some pulled pork sandwiches with this, but uh, I don't have anywhere to store this thing, so after I make up my sandwiches, I'm probably gonna take it right back to the thrift store. Okay, I got my pork shoulder, and I'm gonna spice it up good and put in some uh, onion and garlic in there with it. Uh, pretty simple to do, but uh, the hard part is just waiting for it to be done. All right, it's all spiced up, ready to go. I'm gonna plug it in now. Hopefully this thing actually works, and we'll see how much power it draws. All right, looks like we're all set. Looks like it's drawing about 12 and a half amps. Now we wait. Pimp My Ride has got nothing on me. So while we're waiting, some more information about installing your DC to DC charger. Uh, it's very simple to do. It's just two wires from your starter battery to the charger and two wires from the charger to your house battery. And you also have to set up another wire that's your on-off switch. Uh, I wired that into my fuse panel. I piggybacked it on my rear wiper motor so only when my vehicle is on the charger turns on but I also put a manual switch in between that because uh, there's some times that I may not want to run the charger so depending on your vehicle you might have to run the wires underneath your van into the engine compartment but uh, I found a grommet in my firewall underneath my passenger side dash so I managed to push the wires through there um, and according to the manual, uh, they seem to underestimate the size of wire that you need to use. Uh, I don't recommend going by that. Uh, there's a website that I use for wire sizing. Uh, maybe I can link to that below. But I used 8 gauge wire for my uh, setup. And I also put a 80 amp fuse in between the starter battery and the charger itself. So while I'm out here, a lot of people were wondering about my mouse. It must have came in and went straight back outside. I haven't uh, seen any more signs of it. But I put a trap on the floor just in case it comes back. I also got uh, my my new intake and exhaust hose. I got to set that up soon for my uh, intake heater system. Uh, and on the charger, you have to set up dip switches uh, according to what kind of battery you're using. And that's another typo in the manual. Uh, it's kind of gibberish. I had to contact uh, customer service in order to get the right setup for my lithium battery. So before, I only had the one battery monitor in the back, and it was a pain in the butt uh, guessing what state of charge my battery was at while I was driving. So I got another monitor, and I mounted this one up on my dash, and this one's wireless. So I just had to uh, wire the transmitter onto my battery, and it's got a Hall effect sensor so I can watch how much current is going into my battery. And it's also got a, a temperature sensor too, so that's good. Since I have a, a lithium battery, I can uh, always make sure it's above freezing while I'm charging it. So this has been running for about six hours now. I'm pretty much marinated at this point, but I think the, the pork is ready to go. I'm going to prepare that uh, now. I've gone through 77 amp hour on the battery. I'll try to round that up to an even 80. If I'm going to have some dinner first, then uh, we can get to work testing out the charger. I've had a pulled pork in Maine where they put a dill pickle on it. That was pretty tasty. But I'm going to put coleslaw on mine, but uh, I can't wait to bite into this. I've been waiting all day for this moment. Also, uh, down south you get hush puppies with your pulled pork. That's something I've never seen in Canada. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> So I've used up my 80 amp hour on the battery and uh, I'm going to start driving now. I want to do some hiking tomorrow so I'm going to head to the trailhead and spend the night there. Uh, it's a fairly long drive to get there so hopefully it's long enough to get the battery 100% topped up and I'll let you know how long that takes. 
well this is kind of stupid there doesn't seem to be a way to reset the amp hour count on this thing so I guess uh, I guess I'm gonna start at 28 and we're gonna try to add 80 onto that so at uh, 108 amp hour we should be nearing 100% charge I'm gonna flip it on now so you can see uh, how much current is coming out of the charger so we got 40 point eight amps coming out of the charger right now so I've been driving for about an hour now we should be about halfway there uh, it's just been holding around 40.3 amps so Renogy they're actually a bit generous with the amperage give it extra bang for your buck on this purchase but, uh, I'm gonna see if I can find a place to pull over I got something else to show you real quick so 40 amps is just on the verge of what my alternator is capable of supplying so if I ever come to a stop, I can just watch my uh, starter battery voltage drop. There's just not quite enough electricity being supplied at idle. So if I'm ever uh, driving in the city, I just leave the charger turned off. I could eventually upgrade my uh, alternator to something with a higher output, but for the time being, I'm alright. So that's exactly two hours from when I first turned it on and now the amperage is just slowly tapering off as we hit 14.4 volts and that'll be 100% charged up. So that's pretty cool just how accurate that was. I thought it was going to be at least two and a half hours to uh, recharge the battery. So basically all my electronics are made by Renogy and uh, they seem to consistently make high quality stuff and they also stand behind it too. So if you're looking for a charger this one might be a good choice for you. Um, if you got any questions or if I missed anything let me know. But uh, as for me and my van, we both smell like a pulled pork sandwich, but uh, it was totally worth it and uh, it's actually better than any kind of high priced cologne. Next time you go to the club, before you go, just uh, rub barbecue sauce all over your body and uh, the women will find you irresistible. So <laughs> there's another life tip for you. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.